from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week, Americana Outdoors will show you a few things to keep in mind when taking kids hunting. Angel Middleton helps her mom set up her first Bradley smoker and show her how to prepare a delicious smoked salmon. But first, we'll take a look at how sights for guns play such a big role in shooting on the range, competition, and of course, on hunting trips. Well, High Viz was started in 1996. So we're over 20 years in business now. Started with a magnetic shotgun sight. After our first sight, um, slowly fiber optic sights started to become more mainstream and, and uh, you started to see them show up on a lot more firearms. Uh, as the benefit of the sight was seen, um, need for sights for other applications grew quite quickly and we've tried to uh, meet that need with uh, you know, innovative products you know, the, our ability to mold our fiber, mold our light pipes. We can make shapes, we can make triangles, uh, squares. We can just mold them and make them into products um, that, that other companies just can't do. So we've just tried to innovate and uh, create products that better serve the customer and make them a better shooter. We're getting ready to go out and look for some hogs. Uh, I got a uh, new sight uh, for the 460, uh, and then I got a lever action 4570 with our uh, light wave sights on it. Let's see if we can uh, get some hogs on the ground with them. Pretty close shot, about 30 yards, I guess, but yeah, 4570 stops them right where they stand. Yep, full pass through. That's a good shot right in the shoulder, good clean shot, one shot. One pig on the ground, tried to, tried to get opportunity to another one, but they, uh, they, they got out of the way pretty quick. Over the last 10 years, our product line has grown over 60% of what it was. There's always room for expansion and really in all areas of the product line. Handguns are extremely popular today and with the new Lightwave H3 Air Tritium Fiber Optic Technology, uh, that's gonna grow a lot. And I know that we're gonna bring that type of product to other markets like rifle, shotgun, uh, and, and that's probably where we're going to start growing, but you will see a lot of expansion in the tritium fiber optic for sure. Coming up next, let's see how easy it is to install the new high-vis sights on your guns. How do you aim a 36-yard shot with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover? without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. 
Zero. The auto ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, we stand together for you. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Garmin Zero. Leave the guesswork behind. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. And by High Viz. See what you've been missing. Well, this is a 460 Smith & Wesson. Uh, which came with our fiber optic sight on it. Uh, and the sight mounting arrangement is what they call the DX style sight. So it has a pin through it, but it also has a spring-loaded plunger mechanism. So to remove the sight, you simply pull the nose of the sight backwards and lift up and the sight comes out. So we're gonna replace the fiber optic sight with our new LightWave H3, which is tritium and fiber optic. So it has a tritium capsule in the, that's embedded inside the fiber optic or inside the light pipe. And then you have the light pipe exposed. On the viewing end of this, we've added a white ring around the fiber optic. So to install these sights, you take the back end of the sight and hook it onto the plunger and then push it down. That's as easy as it is to change. Several Smiths come with this type of arrangement, not just the X-Frame, and we make different heights of sights uh, that will go on any of those. So any Smith & Wesson that has that DX type style sight, we, will, we have fiber optic available, and we now have the LightWave H3. We've invited product manager at High Viz Shooting System, Trevor Young, to the Deer Camp to show us the latest sight from High Viz and how it performs in the field. So after that, we went to another setup. We had a pop-up blind, uh, went over there and figured they'd, they'd probably come in a little later, starting to get a little bit cooler. Uh, not much, <laughs> but a little bit cooler, at least later in the day. That was fast and furious. This one, that was a good shot though. That was a good shot. <clears throat> huh. Yeah, that, that worked well just like you'd like it to. I've hunted all types of big game, but this is my first hog hunt, so it is definitely uh, a new experience. Some of the interesting things, how, just how close we are on top of them. And, uh, uh, and, and the other animals too, uh, just being in there and, and um, uh, how fast they come in. Uh, it can be a little challenging, they move around a little bit, so you gotta uh, be a little bit patient, but ready to shoot at any given time. Definitely fast, very exciting hunting. Go to highvizsites.com to learn more about High Viz Sites, the latest product offering, and see what you've been missing. Coming up, let's get the kids off the couch and go hunting. <laughs> Stay tuned. Good shot.
The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X4 offers four times the proven off-road capability, four times the comfort, and four times the confidence to deliver four times the excitement on your next outdoor adventure. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All High Viz shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable light wave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, light wave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot High Viz. See what you've been missing. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, has been brought to you by Yamaha's proven off-road ATV and side-by-side -side vehicles, Thompson Center, America's master gun maker, and by Walker's Game Ear, protect it or lose it. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Nowadays, it's hard to find time to talk to your kids. Taking kids hunting is a great way to spend time with them. It's a chance to teach them about nature and the species we do and do not hunt. It's also an opportunity for us to get to know them better. It's those bonds that help us be better role models and help them grow into better adults. You know, youth hunting is, is it's something that's been a passion of ours for a long time. Taking beginners uh, at a young age out to experience everything about the outdoors, whether it's shooting balloons in a pond uh, with a BB gun or you know building forts out and about in the outdoors, it's just fun. And then when they're ready and they show the right amount of interest in maturity to be able to go on a hunt to where they can handle a firearm or a bow or a crossbow or whatever it may be, that obviously takes it to, a, to another level. You get to spend time uh, in the educational sense, talking safety, talking about game management, talking about shot placement, talking about ethics, and sharing that time you know, with the dads and the moms and, and everybody as they get to go out. And so for me personally, and really about every serious hunter in the world, that's some of the best times that they're ever gonna have when they're taking a, a new young hunter out and watching them begin to blossom and then following them along in their hunting career. You see him? I saw him. Oh, it's on. I lost him. Okay. <laughs> We're going to find her near now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. He's running, so let's see if we can track him. Come here. See the blood? Yeah. Look right there. Look at him. What a good deer. Oh. And what a shot. Wow. Do I get a hug or what? Okay. You did a good job. You did a good job and you did it right. You know, Emily's become pretty deadly with a crossbow and a, and a regular bow now here recently. She's really picked up an archery as well. She's picked up an interest to get out there and, and enjoy it and share it among her friends, which is really cool and really important because of the different, you know, structures of friends groups out there, peer groups out there. And, and so when Emily has success, it, it spurs other kids in her class and other kids that she knows that may have not had any interest in going hunting to be able to kind of spark that to go out and go do uh, do more hunting. So big props to Emily and her dad, Kevin. They got that one down and now we'll move on to our next youth hunt. I've had faith in Landon coming out. He's, he's a great student. He's, call him coachable, I guess is the best way of putting it. What I don't want to do, my first goal, my, my top priority is to not be the reason he's turned off to this. I want to introduce it to him. I want him to live it. And I, but I want them to like it and, and want to continue it for the right reasons, not being the reason itself, not being the one who says, you got to come do this or you should do it this way. Um, you know, I'm hard on my kids. <laughs> I demand, a, he's nodding, I demand a lot out of them. I want them to be respectful. I want them to be polite. I want them to, to know that, that, that you can get a lot more with uh, being polite and nice to people than you can by being rude and mean. And so I expect a lot from them. You know, Landon and Steve Nessel, what a, what a great age to take a kid hunting. You know, we've, we've done this many, many times. And our rule is at that age when they come out, you start them with a doe. That's the first thing they, they come out. 
And not all of them go away on their first trip to our property with them. You'll see some kids come out that they're just not ready. They want to play and they want to experience it, but they're not ready for the harvest. And you're going to see other kids grasp it and go into it right away. Landon was one of those kids, picked up, you know, learning to shoot that 308 TC Youth model right away. His dad was excited and their hunt as you watch it unfold is one that's really pretty special. How do you feel? Oh, 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 sorry about that. Get your thumb out of there. On safety. Buddy, how was the shot? Good. Was it good? <laughs> was it good? Where did they go? Where did the red spots go? Stop. Oh, it's right there. You see any more red spots? Right there. What else do you see? A deer. You see a deer? Yep. Where do you see the deer? Right there. <laughs> Hey, hey, nicely done, buddy. Nicely done. Your first deer. There's, yeah. I mean, you put it right there on the shoulder. Maybe just a tiny bit low. That's how she's standing, but I'll tell you what, she didn't go very far, did she? Well, we walked maybe 35, 40 yards from where you hit her? Yeah. Ooh, nice and smooth. <laughs> nice and smooth. Give me a good. Good job. Proud of you. Very, very, very proud of you. You know, Reeves' hunting situation is going to be really cool. He's uh, the big middle field. It is a mecca for whitetail. And as the season goes on, new deer always show up in this location. As the rut begins to kick off, it gets cold. It's a great food source right there. And when the wind's in the right direction, you can sit in this little blind that we built basically out of some landscape timbers and tin and then we keep brushed in and you can see everything unfold at a, a distance of anywhere from 100 to 400 yards away. And those deer love to funnel out of that the little valley that's in front of you. It's basically a little wet weather creek, a little ditch in there. And it's got a lot of brush in there. It's very shady. Deer love the, the edge habitat, which is perfectly set up for it. First deer? First deer. First, first, first Tell attempt. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. I mean. <laughs> Let's go find it. There he is. There it is. Yeah. Sitting right here. Sweet. Dad's behind the camera, man. <laughs> Dad's happy. Dad's real happy. No, it's awesome. I don't know whose heart was pounding more, his or mine. I was trying to do deep breaths and trying everything. But when you sit next door to your kid and he's got his first shot, and don't mess it up, man. Just don't mess it up. <laughs> you know, each youth hunt is, is so unique and different. It provides such a great feedback into the future generations to go hunting. And it shows a lot of other things, too. It shows safe gun handling. It shows what guns are you know, designed for in a hunting situation. And all of that is so important as you look into the future. Next, Angel Middleton shows her mom how easy it is to set up and make a healthy dinner with a Bradley smoker.
Outdoors, presented by Garmin, has been brought to you by Ten Point Crossbow Technologies. Perfection lives here. Purina Quick Draw Mineral Blocks, a difference you can see. And by Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy. The reason why we're here is because we found out just recently that uh, the Christmas present that we got them almost a year and a half ago now, uh, they've never used it because they were skeptical. They didn't know how to use it. So I thought, you know what? Let me bring the camera crew out. Let's put a tutorial together and show everybody at home how to use it and set mom and dad up with it, show we were, them how to use it. We were always told that um, if you don't set it up right, you're gonna damage it. See, and then that's just not true. That's a myth. And we're gonna crack all the myths today. Here we have the power cords, uh, and one is going to be directed from the element to the unit, and then the other one's going to be directed to your power source. Okay. And here is the smoker. This is where we're going to put all of our briskets when we finally get it all loaded in. Okay, so mom, this is the drip tray. Okay. This is where like all your drippings from your food and everything. Okay. And it goes in here. And then we're just going to put it in like this. And then here's where, you know, you're gonna put your water. Every time you cook anything, you're gonna fill it up with water. That's to where, you know, your food doesn't dry out and all that good stuff. But the drippings are gonna fall into the water. It's okay, we clean it out. Um, you clean it out every time oh, you okay. use it. See, you have racks. So look at, you can cook all this food. Like uh -huh. when you host your barbecues now. So all you have to do from here on out is only put water in here. How, how much do you put in there? Oh, you fill it up, like, to oh, about oh, there. Okay. Now, Mom, uh -huh. this is the element, and then, okay, see these two little holes right here? Right. I'm just gonna slip this unit and, and hang it right here off these two hooks. Just gently, I just put it in there, and then, and then that's it. It just hangs okay. there. And that's it. And then, because you don't really, you don't want it to get this wet. Like, this can sit outside with the cover on and everything, but you probably want to take this in and put it in a dry spot. Okay. So, and then that's it. Then we get the smoker tips. And today we're gonna be smoking salmon. Uh -huh. So I figured, why not use the Pacific blend? Okay, that's very easy. Yeah. Very easy. You know, you turn it on. I showed her how to work the oven right. and the on button. And then we set the the oven temperature to 250, mm -hmm. and then we put on our salmon. Well, let me backtrack. We did put, you know, three cords together. We hooked the unit up to the element, and then we put it to the right. power source at the house, so. And then we plugged this in. It was pretty simple. And now our fish is cooking. I usually use the Pacific Blend when we're doing any kind of seafood kind of stuff. It just gives it that yeah. Mediterranean Pacific flavor. They have like over a dozen of brisquette flavors, uh -huh. you know, including beer, sage, mesquite's my one of my favorites. Oh, Ooh, look at that! It looks done. Oh, oh, mm, it smells great. Oh, it smells awesome. <laughs> Check it out. Wow. That's why the dog's squealing in there. Yeah. <laughs> he wants some. <laughs> Check out the latest Bradley Smokers and our massive database of recipes at BradleySmoker.com. Hey, thank you for watching and join us next week on the new episode of Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. Introducing the Stealth NXT, the narrowest and most accurate 10 point crossbow ever. Measuring an ultra narrow six inches wide, 
The Stealth NXT unleashes devastating speeds up to 410 feet per second, generating jaw-dropping kinetic energy and match-grade downrange accuracy, all on a whisper-quiet shot, three times quieter than the competition. The all-new Stealth NXT from 10 Point. Protect it or lose it. 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 Ingles got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers, go with the original. At Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. When I was in special ops, every item had a purpose or it got left behind. It's no different today. If it doesn't protect me or help me perform at the highest level, I've got no use for it. Otherwise, I don't come back with whatever it is I set out to get. Wiley X, ballistic rated eyewear. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by StealthCam. Proven. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. That smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. Neither Purinas or Mummies are newcomers in the world of wildlife management. In fact, both our brands have decades of experience tackling the tough questions when it comes to animal nutrition and game management programs. Let our brands help you create healthier animals and help improve your game management practices. Reach out to the team at Mummies at one of their store locations or give us a call and ask how we can help you reach your game management dreams. Purina's Quick Draw is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you going to see more game, but the game's going to benefit from you placing it out. You never know when you might need different camo, but who wants to pack it all? That's why there's VersaSkin's Multi Camo Outerwear. The VersaSkin's base jacket and pant come in real tree edge, but can be quickly skinned for waterfowling, blaze, or snow. VersaSkin's patented quick switch system lets you change camos within two minutes. So there's no need to buy or pack multiple camouflage outfits. VersaSkin's. Just change the skin for the season you're in. 
from out on the water straight to the grill and everywhere in between, Americana Outdoors has you covered. Our newly designed website features instructional videos, product reviews, and cooking recipes from some of the top contributors in the business. For even more Americana Outdoors content, sign up for the monthly e-magazine featuring the latest outdoor news and trending topics in the industry. Don't miss out on your chance to learn from the pros. Visit AmericanaOutdoors.com now. Tired of forgetting to set a recording or missing the latest episode of your favorite outdoors show? Check out Outdoor Action today. Never miss a second of shows like Americana Outdoors, Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook, and Whitetail Diaries. All of this at the press of a button without a subscription fee required. Start watching your favorite shows when you want to watch them by going to OutdoorAction.com or through the Outdoor Action channel on any Roku device. Mm-hmm.